Hello and welcome to the annual Heart Golf Media Day. I am your host, Heart Correspondent Phil Fortaleza. Next up, we're joined by Mountain Mercy Head Coach Ben Jones and Theo Baker. Coach Theo, thanks for joining us for Media Day. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, good deal. All right. Okay, Coach, first question for you. So um, uh, after this long season from fall up until now, can you give us a recap on the season so far and uh, any highlights that you wanted to share? Yeah, I, I I think especially the last couple of weeks, we've really been trending in a positive direction. Um, we, ha we have a young team um, kind of led by our, our junior, uh, Jun Yong. Um, and, and, you know, we've had our ups and downs in the fall. Like we, we've played a lot of tournaments, which is good to get these young guys just some experience. And um, yeah, I, I really think we're starting to figure things out. So I'm, I'm, I'm very positive and hopeful for the next couple of weeks. It sounds like uh, what's that old phrase that you're starting to uh, get into form at the right time? Yeah, you know we've we've got the talent, Phil. Um, it's just we've it's just about uh, you know performing to that talent level that some of these kids have on our roster. Okay, let's learn about one of those kids. So, um, can you introduce us to uh, Theo and what he means to the team? Absolutely. Yeah, this is uh, Theo Baker. He is an international freshman from uh, from England, which is ironically where I was where I'm from many, many years ago now, Phil. But um, yeah, no, Theo was was always super excited about getting him in here, getting him into the program. And um, I mean, honestly, he's he's been I've been coaching four years now and he's been the most exciting, most refreshing um, and, and the best freshman that we've that we've probably had here at Mount Mercy. Um, you know, the sky's the limit for this kid. Um, it's just about just keeping him switched on, keeping him focused and uh, probably realizing quite how good he is. Yep, sounds like his story is just beginning. So for sure. All right, Theo. Um, so you're from England. Uh, can you talk about the golfing over there and uh, what are some of your favorite courses that you've played in your home country? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I started golfing when I was very young. My dad's a professional at the golf course that I grew up at. So he got me into the game very early. And um, yeah, I started playing properly, sort of, you know, seriously when I was uh, kind of just turned a teenager. And I've been playing ever since. Uh, I've played a lot of good golf courses around England. I think some of my favourites have to be Probably Hunt Stanton uh, or maybe Gog Magog. They're kind of courses in uh, England, a little bit north from where I'm from. But yeah, they're really good and they, uh, they've they held some uh, really nice tournaments over there. So yeah, it's uh, pretty pure courses. Yeah, the biggest, the biggest adjustment for him to, to American golf field is mainly green speeds and sort of grass types and grass textures, right? I mean, we don't really have greens no. as, quick as, uh, as quick as they are in America back in England. So ah, good. All right, Theo, uh, if you could play any course in the U.S., uh, which would it be? <laughs> um, Probably some recency bias, but it <laughs> got to be Augusta. I mean, yeah, Augusta is probably a most famous course in the world. Um, yeah, I mean, we've, I've been lucky enough to play. Uh, we played Whistling Straits uh, before, uh, before Christmas. Uh, that was a uh, that was a great experience. But yeah, probably Augusta. Yeah, well, uh, I, I'm not too optimistic about Augusta hosting NAI college events any, anytime soon, but we'll see what we can do, Theo. Yeah, I think that's that's been uh, the very popular answer every time I've asked that question. So um, you're not alone. Uh, Coach, uh, looking at your roster, you have players from all over the world. So how cool is it that you and your program bring together players from all over and bring them to experience Mount Mercy University golf and also the school itself. Yeah, no, it, it's very cool just watching all the different cultures kind of uh, mingle and intertwine. Um, you know, we have Australians, a uh, couple of Englishmen, um, and then we have some Asians, Malaysia, China, a um, couple of Spaniards as well. So, you know, we have different languages. Um, some speak better English than others. <laughs> But um, yeah, it, and it's just fascinating just seeing the different golf games as well, like what they're good at, what they're, what they're you know, and they kind of learn from each other, you know, because Theo's used to playing sort of more spring weather, uh, cold, windy, wet, uh, you know, that's what England really is. Um, and then, you know, the Australians, they're, they're used to playing in 90 degrees and perfect weather all the time. So it's a little bit of an adjustment there. Um, so it's fun to watch them all learn from, learn from each other. And um, 
And yeah, no, it's being an international, my student, uh, student myself uh, a long time ago, it was, uh, it was a pretty, pretty important for me to go that route with recruiting. And definitely, definitely just a blending of cultures. Mm -hmm. And so uh, if we can learn a little bit more about them along with Theo, um, who are some uh, other Mount Mercy golfers to keep an eye out for at the Hart Championships? Yep. So Jun Yong is our junior. He's kind of been sort of our, our number one guy uh, for the majority of the year. Um, he's really an eye I'd keep out for at conference. Uh, I, I think he could do quite well um, from an individual perspective. Um, and then other internationals on the team. Uh, I, I'm really excited about uh, Zai Wen Zong, our, our guy from China. Um, he had to red shirt last year just for juice and eligibility issues. Um, but he's, you know, he's finally getting to play a lot of tournaments, a lot of college golf this year. Um, you know, and then we, you know, Dominic McCain, sort of a, a smaller, smaller town Iowa kid as well. Like it's not all international students on our program. We do have a lot of uh, local kids as well. Um, and just, you know, he's, he's someone just watching him progress through three years, because when he came to me, like, you know, he was sort of a, a low eighties golfer um only played small town Iowa golf courses and now he's playing shooting under par on championship golf courses so it's pretty exciting watching these kids grow through the years very good very good all right Theo back to you um I know it's just your freshman year like I said before you, uh, your your story is just beginning so but uh how much have you enjoyed this experience playing golf for the Mustang so far and going to school at Mount Mercy yeah I mean it's been awesome I mean I think every uh every kid dreams of playing college golf in America and uh, to have it come true is, uh, yeah, it's pretty special having the sort of team aspect, which is probably something that lacks uh, normally in uh, golf, especially junior golf back in England. But um, yeah, it's been awesome just with the, with the whole experience, the golf and um, everything that comes along with it. Yeah. It's been special. Very good. Very good. All right, coach, uh, let's talk heart championship and uh, more specifically the preserve. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that course and uh, what it's like and what to expect? Yeah, it's uh, it's funny. The preserve was actually uh, where I shot my lowest score when I was a college player, so I, I'm pretty familiar with it. We've been I've been playing it myself many years and now coaching uh, last year. We we had a good final round last year. I think we shot maybe like twelve under or something as a team that final round. Um, it, it, it's a golf course where if the conditions are favorable, uh, kids can make some birdies, which, you know, always leads to an exciting tournament. Um, just with the stretch of par fives in a row that you have there, it, it can, it can, it can definitely make things entertaining. So hopefully we'll, we'll stay in the hunt. We'll be competitive and uh, maybe we can surprise some folks this year. Mm -hmm. All right, coach. Um, your team has played in some great tournaments this year at some pretty unique courses. So uh, how do you hope those different course experiences help your team develop throughout the year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, when we're selecting tournaments and stuff, picking high level championship golf courses like it's it's obviously partly for the experience as well. Uh, you know, having these kids play some of the best golf courses in America, it's um, you know, it's exciting for me to be able to provide that for them. Um, but in terms of like their development as golfers as well, um, you know, <laughs> some of these, some of the freshmen that come in, like they're, they're pretty good at playing, you know, mid-level sort of, uh, you know, uh, municipal style golf courses, but it, it really, once you start learning how to, where you need to miss greens, um, just tougher green complexes, tougher fairways to hit that type of stuff. Um, kids, kids, golf games really start developing on the, on the tougher golf courses you put them on. And all those experiences, all, all those experiences curtail to uh, the Heart Championship coming up in the next week or so. So exactly, right. yeah. yeah, we've uh, I've tried my best all year to to sort of put to put together a tougher schedule, a more difficult schedule, um, so that way the the Heart Championships feel uh, feel a little bit easier for them as opposed to uh, super pressurized. Good. Yeah. All right, Theo. Last question for you. Um, more more along the lines of your game your golf game so uh what is your favorite club in the bag and why my favorite club mm, not sure i reckon it's got to be between probably two i'd say either my driver or my putter i think 
both of them when they're on are probably uh the strongest parts of my game um and yeah i mean i think i think they're both the the most fun sort of parts of golf for me anyway sort of holding parts making uh making birdies and uh sometimes eagles and then hitting you know long drives it's uh definitely the most uh fun part of the game and yeah probably my two favorite clubs yeah there you go all right all right coach theo it's been a pleasure to get to know you both uh thanks for joining us and uh Best of luck at the Heart Championships and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you, Phil. Thanks. Great job.